What's going on, web heads? Welcome back to day 11 of Spider Puff's second annual 25 Days of Christmas. Hope you guys are enjoying the 25 Days of Christmas series so far as much as I am making it. It has truly been a blast making it for all of you guys. But I actually just got off of work and we actually just got a notice on the door. And uh, for some reason, the post office decided they didn't want to drop off a Funko Pop that I actually ordered from Hot Topic. And they could have dropped it off in the mailbox, they could have dropped it off at the front door, but uh, they decided to steal it instead. So we actually have to go to the post office to retrieve our stolen pop from USPS. But yeah, we're just going to head on up there and get our Funko Pop. So it should be a pretty webtastic video and hopefully you guys stick around till the end. Alright, just pulled up to the post office and uh, yeah, let's see if they have our stolen Funko Pop inside. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. Alrighty, and missing successful at the United States post office. Got our package right here and I think we're just going to get back to the pop office and show off what we got once we get home. 20 minutes later. Alright, and we are back from the post office and uh, we were able to retrieve our stolen package. So that is very good. I'm very happy about that because it is a very cool pop that we actually ordered from Hot Topic and a very large box. We'll actually uh, heave it up right here. This is the, the massive package that they weren't able to leave on the doorstep or in the mailbox. But uh, if I just lift it up right here, yeah, there it is right there. We got ourselves our uh, singular Funko Pops that uh, we had to retrieve from the post office. And um, yeah, it's just a really cool Funko Pop that is inside of here. And uh, one that I thought I actually missed out on. I actually had a bit of a cold near the end of November and it was when this pop was actually dropping around in my local Hot Topics. So I actually ordered it and then it eventually shipped and then just never showed up and for some reason I had to pick it up from the post office. So we have this pop right here to show off to all of you guys and yeah such a massive package means that it's going to be difficult to open so we got to whip out the big guns. So uh, here we go we're just going to open up this package real quick. All right, and we got the box open right there. Not too difficult due to our uh, trusty katana right there. But uh, yeah, we got the box open right here. And then we got our sorter box, which is nice. So that means the pop should hopefully not be damaged. But this is actually a really cool pop from a really awesome Marvel series. And uh, I was a really big fan of the episode that this pop actually was in. And I'm still actually looking out for the Marvel Legends figure around in my local stores. So hopefully we'll be able to snag that up at some point. But if we open this up right here, it is actually an upside down zombie hunter spidey and is actually the hot topic exclusive and i believe he is actually metallic and he is just really cool it is just zombie hunter spidey when he actually uh is actually zombie hunter spidey without his mask and i believe the common version actually has his mask on and it is from a really awesome episode from marvel studios what if and it is actually what if marvel zombie so it is a super cool concept and it actually dives into the concept of if the avengers actually got turned into zombies and spider-man is actually one of the only avengers left to actually keep fighting the a good fight there's just a lot of really memorable quotes in that episode for me i've lost a lot but my aunt may says if we don't keep smiling when they can't then we might as well just be gone too and there was just a couple really sad scenes in it as well and it was just a really awesome showcase of what makes spider-man great so i'm actually a big fan of this pop and it's going to look really awesome in our spider-man funko pop collection up top so that is really cool that we actually have that right there and we were actually able to retrieve it from the post office so pretty stoked about that but we're actually going to set that aside right now and we actually went to hot topic earlier and i actually didn't have my camera so i wasn't able to film but i actually went in while i was doing a little bit of christmas shopping but we actually have the bag right here and uh i have no idea how this was still on the shelf in the middle of the day but we actually were able to get a funko pop mini moment and this is actually probably going to be the first one i've actually showcased on the spider pops youtube channel but it is actually going to be a chase version of harry potter's professor slughorn in the potions class Smell and beer. 
So that is really cool. I'm not really sure what the uh, common versions of the pop actually are, but uh, that is going to be our third Chase Harry Potter mini moment. We actually found two more from Target earlier in November, I believe. So that is actually really cool that we were actually able to randomly find one at a local Hot Topic of ours. And that is just really cool. And it is a pretty neat looking mini moment. I am probably not going to take it out of the box just because it is a Chase figure, but they are pretty neat looking. They uh, honestly look a little, a little Fisher pricey to me, but uh, they're still pretty neat little figures, but it is always going to be difficult for me to pass up actually getting a chase in the wild. So we got a chase potions class professor slughorn right here, and that is just really cool. And I thought I would just show that off for all of you guys at the end of this video. But yeah, that is just really cool. I was not expecting to see that at all, but we were able to get a little bit of Christmas shopping done today. And at the end of the day, we actually stopped by Hot Topic and that was just sitting right there on the shelf. So pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. And that is going to look nice next to the rest of my Harry Potter collection where I actually keep all of my Noble Collection wands and collectibles and stuff. And it is just uh, going to look really nice up there on that shelf. So really glad I was able to find that in the wild at my local hot topic but uh yeah glad i was able to show all of those off to all of you guys but that is pretty much going to do it for this day 11 video on the spider pops channel hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's day 12 video on the spider pops channel it is going to be a very webtastic time for sure and you are definitely not going to want to miss out we are also super close to releasing details for our spider pops 25 days of christmas holiday giveaway and it is also super close to the release of spider-man no way home so i will definitely be doing a video after that that comes out and i'm actually able to see it and that should just be a really awesome video but yeah that is going to do it for today's day 11 video on the spider pops channel i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to catch up on the rest of the spider pops 25 days of christmas videos if you haven't already and we'll just see you guys tomorrow bright and early at 5 a.m mountain time but yeah just make sure you guys are staying safe out there staying frosty and having fun of course have an amazing rest of your day webheads Bye bye Why would Nazi? Who's